What's up? This is Jamie Morgan from Code Orange. You're watching Heavy Consequence. I feel like every project you guys come forward with, it's like, oh my God, there's like a whole new breadth of influences on this thing that I didn't even know these guys were into. And so jumping from that one to the, this new record, where's the evolution coming from here? Because I know that you're going to throw some sort of curveball at me. Yeah, the way I kind of view it as is that, you know, as opposed to maybe it's random things being thrown at the wall, it's calculated in the sense that it's we plant seeds and over time we grow them. And you know, you can point to a lot of pieces of this one that have grown from seeds of songs of past, you know, and that cycle seems to continue for us. You know, thematically, it's very much linked with the last record. It's almost like a brother sister record in a way, but it sounds completely different. Um, so I'm excited, man. To me, it's like all of our art is all on the same big wall and it all needs to work together. And I think this is a big leap forward for us, but I think it also sits really well in our little universe we've created, you know? That's awesome. I love, I love that holistic view of like looking at your work and, and seeing where everything fits in, in its own little puzzle piece. That's the way I view it. It's like puzzle pieces because we play with a lot of genres. We play with things that at a glance can maybe feel disconnected to somebody who's not, hasn't really jacked themselves in yet, but to what we're doing but it all I really feel and I think the records show that hopefully this one will too I think it all works together and it all makes sense it's all you know part of the same piece yeah, yeah. And just building and building I love to hear it um, so one of the singles you got none other than Billy Corgan on and as soon as I saw that I knew it was gonna be fire and then of course it was fire thank you so tell me about like getting him what that means for him to be on the record like your relationship with smashing pumpkins like that's that's so cool it means a lot he's a legend and i feel like uh to take it for granted would be uh just not who i am you know so i'm really i was grateful for every second of it grateful to have a nice little relationship with him now and he contributed awesomely and he's a legend from the time of rock that I'm the most obviously inspired by, but also I think the last period of rock that really mattered in any kind of cultural way, you know, so. That's awesome. So I, I wanted to ask you too about um, some drum stuff. So now that you got Max, like, as somebody who used to drum these songs, especially the songs that he's drumming that you used to drum, how is that for you? Do you ever, are you ever getting nitpicky on him? Obviously he's got quite the lineage of a drumming family. Um, so like, how's he fit into the thing? How, are, how, how is it being like not behind the kit while you're doing vocals, stuff like that? He fits in great. He's like the sweetest kid who just wants to learn and grow and get better. And you know, me and him split the record. So I played half of it on drums and he played half. And he's just integrating into our system. You know, he's, he's a genius drummer in his own right. He's much better than me in all ways, you know, but I still have this kind of groove thing that makes Code Orange what it is. So I did a little bit of that and then I'm just trying to impart it on him as best as I can. And he can do things that I can never do if I work the rest of my life. So uh, I think it's been, he's been another gem in our glove. Another puzzle piece you might say. Another man on the team, another Avenger, another uh, killer. Another killer, the Code Orange killer. I love it. Well, speaking of uh, wearing many hats, I've also read that y'all kind of do all your video stuff in-house yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, tell me about what that's like. You know, it, again, it seems like you take this very holistic view on kind of all of your art, from, from the music to like your whole discography and then the whole visual side of things. So why is that important to you? Uh, is it stressful? Like what, what's your thinking when you're going into that stuff? Yeah, I mean, to me, it's just part of it. There's, uh, there's no doing it without that part of it, the visual element. Like I said before, we're walking such a tightrope of kinds of music, and people will hear that on this record. They heard it on the last one in a different way. That to me, the themes, the visuals, these are the things that bind it together and kind of paint the picture of what it is. And so I put as much effort into that, and so does my squad, as the music. Going back to the beginning, like right when y'all were starting out, especially around like the name change era, stuff like that. Um, Y'all got some love from like major, major acts like Slipknot and, and, and these really established 
figures and bands in the scene and, and kind of a, a couple different scenes that you guys were pulling from. Like, so as a young band, when you're coming up, like, what does that mean to you? And especially now looking back, like, how important was that to you in retrospect? It means a lot, man. I mean, real recognizes real. Fake tries to pull real down. Really, the only things we ever, bands who ever, you know, aren't showing love are ones I don't care for anyway. So a lot of respect there. I think they just, the, whether, you know, not we're not a big bands band guy in the sense that, like, I don't even think a lot of the guys who in these bands necessarily love everything we do, but they recognize that we are a real old school band who put the pavement in, who played here in Louisville at house 12 years ago, more, you know, 10 years ago, whatever it is. So we've been grinding and we care about our art and we put everything into the live show. It's life or death up there to us on the stage and bands like that respect that. So at the bare minimum, even if bands don't like us, they respect us. 